Wait, Jane, I thought we were doing dry January. <laughs> you fell for the classic blunder. There's not alcohol in here. Welcome to Drinking Nerdy! Welcome back to Drinking Nerdy, where we drink and talk nerdy. Dry January. We're gonna hit these mofos right here. Jane, tell me what we got. Well, you know I'm not a huge fan of Dry January, because why bother? But a lot of people are, and I wanted to try out some of these non-alcoholic spirits that are on the market. Okay. So this one's called Seed Lip. It's pretty popular. I've seen it advertised a lot, for sure. I haven't so, heard about it yet, but I'm ecstatic about this. It is supposed to be a distilled non-alcoholic spirit reminiscent of gin. Uh, you know, I, today I had a conversation with Sam was my wife but uh we um we were thinking like because we had a friend that he's 21 and he like he's learning to drink right okay. so i was saying something about like oh yeah sweet selection of alcohol and i'm like why don't you try this this is way better and my wife was like well what did you do when you were 21 and i didn't remember until she was like Gin. All I drank was gin. I just realized really? that all I drank was gin and tonics. That's I all I drank. I did have a gin and tonic phase, like probably 22, 23. Yeah. Wow. I just still love a good gin and tonic. Oh uh, man, and you know, I, there was a study that says that people that love gin mm -hmm. or that enjoy gin tend to be psychopaths. <laughs> it's because it's supposed to be like bitter, and if you like the bitter, it's yeah. It's also people who like coffee with nothing in it, or like That's... Uh, I, really bitter IPAs. I enjoy all of those things. Maybe you're just a bitter old man. Or a psychopath. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give these a try. Sure, what, what are we starting with? All right, I wanna start with this orange one. It's called Grove 42. So they Grove come 42? A couple different varieties. I got two of them here, so. All right, cool. Let's try Grove 42. Hey, take it easy. Just one shot. <laughs> it's an alcoholic. <laughs> All right, let's give it a sniff. It smells really orangey. Yeah, super citrusy. It's got almost like a nutmeggy kind of note. I don't know. I just, I smell, I, I get the spice from ginger. Yeah. And, oh, okay. and different orange. I see that. Let's try it. Huh. Honestly, it kind of mm. tastes like a... It tastes like a flat gin and tonic to me. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. 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 Yeah. At first I was like, that's just weird. But yes, it yeah. does. It does. Like, I actually really like it. And probably with something bubbly in it will mm -hmm. taste like a gin and tonic. She want that bubbly. She want that bubbly. She want that video. <laughs> Every time you say bubbly, I'm going to sing that song. Mmm. I could definitely chug a bottle of this. No problem. Probably not even get drunk. Yeah, because there's no alcohol, bro. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I feel, I just feel cheated, man. Right? Like, you want the, it is nice because I like, like, I love tonic and I love gin. Like, I love those herbal flavors and I like, like, those yeah. natural sodas and stuff. So, this is kind of cool. Yeah, listen, before we get into alcohol, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, no, this is great. This is great. This would definitely be good with, like, club soda. People that are, are not drinking, that are doing dry for good or just dry January just to like revamp your body. Yeah. 2021 vibes, baby. Smells really good. Yeah, big fan, big fan. It, this with some club soda or like a flavor club soda. Mm -hmm. uh, kosher. Yeah. All right, so. Let's try the other one. Yeah. All right, so this one is Garden 108. It's got more of like a green note to it. <laughs> What does that smell like? Green. Green. It kind of has like a little bit of like a green pepper. Like maybe not a jalapeno, but like green bell pepper smell. Yeah, I know. I, I can definitely, I, no, I can definitely get the jalapeno smell. Yeah. It almost smells like, it, it smells like a, between a jalapeno and a cucumber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, definitely like if you grab like a, like a leaf from a tree and you like smushing your hands, mm -hmm. like you get that like chlorophyll almost. Okay, yeah. yeah. Maybe like a little bit of basil. Yeah, like chlor like it, it reminds me a lot of like uh, like like a light tequila, like because oh. of like that green. You get that, yeah, that like agave kind of smell. Mm. Let's see this. Oh, 
Ah, oh, shit. This is amazing. This I like this better than the orange one. Really? I like the orange one better, but this is really interesting. I, You know what I imagined myself doing this? Like going to a, a day spa, having a massage on the rocks, chilling by like the the pool, Okay. Sipping on this, like like a revamp, like an energy. Oh yeah, it kind of like, tastes like spa water. Yes, not my spa water because after I'm done with that spa water, it ain't spa water. I mean the stuff you sip, not the stuff you sit in. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is very refreshing. Wow. And this is how you know I'm going to fail. Try January. I, all I can imagine is like. Let's put add, more gin in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's put some gin, let's put some tequila. I think this will be amazing together. I just, you know, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about non-alcoholic spirits, you know, yeah. because it's, it's so hard to get that vibe because I, I know I've had this conversation with people before where they're like, well, why don't we just do a non-alcoholic whiskey? It's just the thing about whiskey, about gin, about stuff, is that mm -hmm. it's, the process is so specific, like, do it, like, you know, fermenting the corn, like the rye, letting it sit in a wooden barrel. That flavor is so specific that you can't recreate it. You can't recreate it yeah. if you were trying to just get the flavor, you know, because that is the flavor of whiskey. I it like, is whiskey. I like that this doesn't taste just like gin. Right. It tastes like an herbal beverage. Yeah. Which is really good. So like it does kind of have a little bit of those notes of those like botanicals that you find in a gin, but it's not, it's not trying too hard to be gin. Like there's yeah. not a lot of juniper and stuff like that in it. And what I like about this is that it's it's distilled, right? So it means that it's been it's gone through a distilling process. So it's been like evaporated and like you get all the essence from the stuff. Because it is it's very aromatic. It's very fragrant. Yeah. But no hangover. No hangover. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. If you're just if you're just trying to have a good time, not drink. Mm -hmm. Boom, baby. Especially like spring, come spring and summer on a hot day. A hundred, dude, this would, yo, before you want to make some cocktails with this? Yeah, I think I need like some bubbly action in here to really. No, yeah, let's make some drinks. Drinks? Drinks? Drinks. drinks. Right. So I really loved this orange one and I'm going to do something really simple with it. Start off with some ice and we're going to use the Seed Lip Grove 42. We're gonna use three ounces because no alcohol, extra serve. And we're keeping it really simple today. We're just gonna top off with this orange ginger ale. And then garnish with a little orange. Cheers. My dry January nerds, we're doing Seed Slip Garden 108. I liked it the best, so let's go. We're gonna start with some cubes. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do three ounces of the Seed Slip. We're gonna add a little bit of elderflower lemonade. gonna put a lemon wedge on it. Cheers, my clean animals. All right, well, cheers. Cheers to being sober. For now. For now. This actually tastes really good. It's like, a, like I feel like, for example, like if you go to a summer wedding or a wedding at the mm -hmm. beach, Ooh. this would be just like, like refreshing, like, because I, I know you guys have been to like a summer wedding or like a wedding where it's hot as shit. And you're like drinking, few beers, few shots, and next thing you know, you're sweating like profusely and it's just like, ugh. I think this gets you the same flavor so you feel like you're drinking mm -hmm. and it doesn't murder you in between. Yeah, and I didn't even realize when we started with these, there's no sugar added to these at all. So this is also like low calorie. It's not gonna make you feel gross when you drink a whole bunch of sugar. Oh, for sure. Can I taste yours? Yeah, for sure. I wanna taste yours. Oh, that's real good. Yeah, I like yours too. It's like a, it's like an amazing 
gin and tonic ginger ale ginger aid ginger <laughs> ginger aid it's like a orangey gin and tonic ginger ale mm -hmm. it's sick but uh it's so good yeah i love it uh yeah i mean look it's not gonna be the same effect as alcohol but it's delicious honestly like 10 out of 10 would recommend, and I never thought I was gonna like these. No, but yeah, so like, I'm a huge fan of this. I'm, I can see this in the bar. Yeah, honestly, like, this is like a really nice alternative to alcohol, and I think it'd be really cool to pair these with food, like doing a food pairing. With yeah, these. for sure. Because there's at least one other flavor, and I think maybe two. It'd be really cool to do like different, like you could do a really cool salad with this one and maybe like a, something like a little more warm. A delicious spices. granola bar. <laughs> no. I mean, honestly, you could pair this with anything. So. No, I think, no, what I, what I think it's, it's really cool because it's like, yes, like obviously the non-alcoholic alternative is like mm -hmm. water, soda, juice, like I get it, but um, I think it has to be like a step above, you know, almost like you have non-alcoholic beer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think this is like a like a good equivalent, you know. It's I mean it's meant to be the equivalent, but it's good if you're uh, not trying to drink. If you don't drink, because I mean if you don't drink, you don't drink, you know. If you don't like drinking, it's a good alternative to kind of like get people off your back. I know how annoying people are like, ah, oh, come on, come on, get a drink, you know. Because I'm that annoying friend. And like sometimes if you're out celebrating, like you said, like a wedding, you want to have something like different or like special sure. celebratory. Yeah. But you don't want to drink or. You're trying to pace yourself like during sure. the day. Yeah, it could be like you could be like one drink, yep. one non-alcoholic, one drink. Never. That wow, that's genius. I that's I wish I learned that ten years ago. <laughs> Too late. Mm. I love this, and it's like it smells amazing. It has that fragrance, and it tastes great. Like mm -hmm. I feel like I'm drinking a gin and tonic. Yeah. Like a legit. Yeah. Mm. It's so good. Sponsor us, please. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor us, Seedlip, we love you. And like the whole thing is that, because you say non-alcoholic, mm -hmm. so it, it's like, you're like, well, yeah, it's just, it's just like infused water. This is actually distilled. It's mm -hmm. like, it's distilled uh, for the, I guess they just don't leave it here in the, uh, the the fermentation process you know yeah i would love to know more about how this is made this is really really cool you know like when you're really drunk at a bar and your friend tries to give you like a soda water to make you think that you're still drinking i this would be great for that <laughs> uh, dude that is genius i have done that so many times as a bartender I've had that done to me many times <laughs> <laughs> I, the, like, I, people will get super drunk at the bar and like especially if they're drinking like a fruity drink I will like just mix like three different juices and be like yeah here you go and they'll be like this is so good mm -hmm. like yeah it's extra strong for you yep psych it's just juices and guess what I charge you ten dollars for it that's messed up is that unethical a little bit we've all done it though <laughs> No, yeah, it's so it's so multi-use. Stop drunks from drink, getting drunker at your bar. Mm -hmm. Help your sober friends. Mm -hmm. Friends that are trying to get sober, or if you're gonna go on a health kick and you think stop dr like if you stop drinking it's too hard for you, this is an awesome alternative. Like I, oh. I I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I honestly just want to drink this during the day when I'm like editing videos and stuff. Yeah, like just put it in like in your tumbler with some ice, a little lemonade or mm -hmm. whatever you want to mix it with. Yeah. Uh, it's And it's like pseudo drinking. Like when you're a little kid and your parents give you a, a rocks glass with apple juice and you're just there mm -hmm. like, just Ms. Robinson is just really grinding me over, over second grade math, man. I just don't get it. Or you put like sparkling water in a wine glass to be fancy. This. Oh, I definitely, I definitely do that growing up. Every, actually, every time we have a party in the house and like my niece and nephews come, I bring out like I have a stone wine mm -hmm. chiller. We bring it out and I put a thing of Martinelli's and oh. I give them like little like champagne like plastic glasses, That's cute. so they all see, feel fancy. Like, oh shit, we're popping bottles of Uncle Gus's. If you guys see this ten years from now. Anyways, let us know if there's anything else you want us to review out there. I know there's some other non-alcoholic spirits. There's also just some really cool alcoholic spirits on the market that we haven't brought up. 
So if you have any cool ideas for us to do reviews on, we'd love to. Dude, and if you guys freaking say Oduls, I'm unfriending every single one of you. <sighs> no, yeah, but you, Drake, make sure you share the video, like and subscribe, smash. I already said like, well, smash the share button. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let us know what you guys want to see. Uh, any other non-alcoholic stuff or alcoholic. Guys, this is Gus's normal behavior without alcohol. <laughs> we got you, fools.